Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to my playthrough of Hearts of Stone. Thank you for joining me again. Well, in the last episode, I hope you watched it, we had a big old fight with Olgierd von Everick. And uh, now we have somehow gotten ourselves into a situation where we are to grant him three wishes. He's already told us about two of the wishes. And uh, for one of those wishes, we know that we need to go talk to Shawnee about the Von Everick family crypt. Let's take a look at that quest right now. Dead Man's Party. Talk to Shawnee about the Von Everick family crypt. As Master Mirror forewarned, Olgierd Von Everick asked Geralt to perform several tasks for him. One of these was to show his brother Vladimir the time of his life. As I know from many pleasant personal experiences, the Witcher, grim as he may sometimes seem, is more than capable of arranging a fantastic night out. Yet in this case, there was one particularly tricky catch. Vladimir was dead. As a first step to overcoming this obstacle, Geralt decided to go see Shani, who, as a Redanian subject, an Oxford resident, and a woman of great learning, might just have some information about where Vladimir is buried. Well, that's what we're going to do, because the only other quest we have is this Open Sesame one. And it's just a little bit of a higher level. Uh, so we'll just start with a lower level one. Uh, we have no other secondary quests. So if we look at our map, we will see that uh, we need to go to Oxenfurt here. Unfortunately, where we are here, there is no nearby uh, fast travel point. So we have to go up to Bowden here. Um, one thing I did want to go check out though is is this yeah this house is still on fire remember after we defeated Olgierd he said that we could help ourselves do anything in the house as charred as it may be but uh, it's looking like we're not going to get into that house anytime soon <laughs> no sir doesn't look like it so probably really nothing here for us it's pretty neat though how this thing just keeps burning We were around back here for a moment. I think we talked to Olgierd back here. But uh, no, it doesn't look like there's anything back here that we are going to want to loot. Can't even get in there. It's locked. So, yeah, nothing here. All right, well, that means we will go ahead and head on over to uh, Bowden and use the fast travel point there to uh, fast travel to Oxenfurt, where we will catch up with Shawnee, see how she's doing, tell her about this crazy situation we've gotten ourselves into, because she's just not going to believe it. Uh, let me see. Bring up our map. Make sure this thing's taking me to the right place. Uh, why is it telling me to run this way? Does this thing want me to run to freaking Oxenfurt? I don't want to run to Oxenfurt. I want to go to here to Bowden. Or is this closer? Should I just run straight ahead and go to this farmstead? Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. Oh, new marker. Oh, there's a marker here. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's check it out. Garen Estate. Some 240 years ago, a certain Josen Garen arrived in these lands. A Hahak a Haaki traveler, writer, brawler, and Seuss? I don't know what that is. Garen looked around and saw the locals, the local meadows in bloom, cool shadows beneath charming glades, and glorious sunbathed fields. All this inspired him to settle down here for good. His new neighbors treated the arrival with suspicion, yet they changed their minds and warmed to him once he turned a gracious host who would fill their cups once and again with the exquisite wines he had brought with him from his homeland. And then Olgierd von Everick moved in and killed him. Actually, he let him go. He, no, no, no. One of Olgierd's uh, men ended up killing him. That's what happened. And then Geralt interfered and let the guy run free. Geralt was just trying to do the right thing. Probably wasn't really the right thing in that case, but if the people would have just answered his question, he wouldn't have had to have step in like that. Wee. Bunch of uh, uh, Martin Fuels homestead. We've been. Have you actually been here before? Bunch of cows over there. It's a beautiful day for a run, isn't it? 
<laughs> so this, um... Wait, did you see what I just did? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I was at that marker. That marker popped up. I read about it, and then I just ran on by like a big dumb dummy. So my apologies for, um... Wasting your time there. It's kind of weird. I don't actually don't remember this place, but I know I've been here already. Yeah, that was dumb. There was a marker right there. I could have fast traveled from that one. So, oops. All right, we are going to fast travel to, I guess, the harbor here. We'll run up and see Shawnee. Hopefully, this time not in the sewers. Still raining here. Go around this way, excuse me, gentlemen. Go in here. All right, before I go in, um, we're gonna sit down here. We're just gonna meditate for an hour so I get all my potions and stuff back. You never know what's gonna happen once we get in here. So I just wanna be prepared. All right, in we go. What is this place, anyway? Sick woman. Oh, this must be a clinic. I'm not gonna loot from the clinic. <laughs> Person puking in the corner over there. Oh, she's upstairs. Loot, there's a note here. Prescription. Let's take a look at this prescription. Patient Syndrome Rushel. Brew crushed marigold and drink while hot thrice daily at mealtimes. Avoid all greasy foods and by no means drink alcohol in any form for the duration of the treatment. This includes beer. Medic's signature mainly illegible appears first name is Shani. Open. Ooh, wow, there's a, a basement here. Look at this. <laughs> I'm curious. Let's go down and take a look. What's down here? Well, not a whole lot, really. I mean, there's some stuff I could loot, but uh, I'm not going to. Why? I don't know. This is shiny stuff. I know it's dumb. I know I'm inconsistent. But just let me live in my own world, okay? This is my Geralt. And this is how I play my Geralt. Very inconsistently. <laughs> Basically, it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Alright, see, there's all kinds of stuff here that I'm not going to loot, but we are going to go upstairs and see if we can't find Shani and hope that we don't catch anything from these people here. Yeesh, puts his sickies here. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Whoa, bright red. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest form. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad shaped medal? <laughs> the army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. <laughs> Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Um, what do scholars look like, dude? Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why is that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, would you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Uh, not your business. Shani's not my type for Shani's a beautiful woman. It's really not your business, dude. Sorry. None of your business. Come on. There's some kind of secret. You embarrassed. 
she's quite fetching, and you're, well, none too handsome, <laughs> but a witcher. Lass is like your type. Come now, fess up. You fancy her or not? Well, I guess we have to uh, answer this question. I'm not going to say she's not my type. And yeah, she is a beautiful woman, so if they're going to force us to answer... It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. Wow, she's fast. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Yeah, that was some super fast work. Now. I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Hmm. Where have you been, Shani? Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Must have been in Vizima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. <laughs> Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though, I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Well, it's nice catching up with you, but... I need your help. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, uh, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Uh, long story, waste of words, or I killed a prince and was taken prisoner. Let's go ahead and tell her. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. <laughs> it's the truth, uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Hmm, uh, a merchant of mirrors, someone powerful or don't really know. Uh, a, a merchant of mirrors? Someone powerful? I don't really know. Um, well, I think he's a merchant of mirrors. Met him a while back in White Orchard. At the time, he claimed he dealt in mirrors. Mirrors? Buy one from him that grants your wishes? Something like that. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a censor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in the storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Yeah, I don't like it either. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. 
In my third year at Oxenfoot, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs or Famous Redanian Dynasties. Dynasties? I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estiken, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Okay. Meet Shani in front of the Von Everick family crypt. Well, let's see if there's anything interesting we could look at while we're here. Um, now that I know this place is just Redanian, I'm going to just take, help myself to stuff. I don't need Diary of a Fire Swallow. I already read that. Oh, I don't, certainly don't need more than one copy of it. We already read that. It was just a bunch of books up here. I already read that. Already read that. Here's another note. Wedding invitation. Let it be known that their children having grown to share the most profound and noble of sentiments and having decided to seal that bond and hallowed rites in keeping with ancient custom the parents of Aldana Lampsch and Jonas de Bogar do hereby request the presence of Shani surname eligible along with an escort of her choosing at the betrothed's matrimonial ceremony and the celebratory feast to follow. Hmm. I wonder when that is or was. I think she'll invite Geralt to go with her. Uh, I don't know. We'll take this stuff. We'll take the water. Alright. Let's, um... I mean, I guess we'll just... Head right over to the Von Everick family crypt unless something else comes up along the way. Yeah, let's get out of here, man. All these sick people. Alright, let's bring up our map and see where this family crypt is. The crypt is way up here. Uh, near the Draken Hollow outpost. So I guess that's where we're going to fast travel to, and we'll just head on over here. Alright. Let's look at the quest itself, see if there's any new text for it. Okay, Shawnee had been a diligent student. She not only had heard of the Von Everick family, but also happened to be in the possession of a tome indicating the location of their family crypt. She and Geralt decided to journey there together. Shawnee was to bring a censor with her, which Geralt intended to use to perform the ancient ritual of blood summoning to bring forth the ghost of Olgird's dead brother. Eh, very simple, very easy. Alright, where is the nearest fast travel point? Well, there's one down here and there's one down here. So let's see if we can run over to this fast travel point. And um, we'll fast travel over to this place. Okay. Up here to Draken Hollow Outpost. Hopefully there'll be no baddies here wanting to attack us. And uh, surprisingly there's not. Probably because we just cleared this place out recently. Alright, let's run down the path here. Meet up with Shawnee at this crypt. Tried to jump over it, didn't quite make it. Look at that place. Huh, a little waterfall there. Did I see this before? Kind of intrigued by it. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get behind the waterfall. Boy, that's a kind of a weird effect. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty neat. Alright. 
Just wanted to see if there's a, anything behind the waterfall. Let's see if I remember this place. I mean, I'm assuming I've been here before. It doesn't look familiar. It's actually called the Von Everick Estate. Was this here in the game before? I don't know, man. Here we go. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Hmm. <laughs> Never mentioned you were getting married. <laughs> I mean, we already know who's wedding, because we, we read about it. Let's, let's play around with her a little bit. Didn't know you were getting married. <laughs> not mine, silly. My friends. This garland's not for me. Speaking of which... Would you go with me? Oh. Uh, yeah. Be glad to. Sure. Why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. All right, now we are to enter the Von Everick family crypt. Off. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. All right, let's look at the quest again, see if there's any new text. There is not. Enter the Von Everick family crypt. We can do that. Hey, Shawnee, let's talk. What do you want, Geralt? I want to talk to you. Yes. What do you want, Geralt? All right. Well, yep, I guess she's not going to talk to us. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. So. If there's any trouble, just yell. So she's going to excuse herself, just hang out out here. That's probably for the best anyway. We don't want to have to babysit her. Well, here we go into an actual crypt. Creepy, creepy, creepy crypt. That's okay, Geralt. This is no crypt. No. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Geralt feels at home in places like this. Let's um kind of brighten the place up a little bit. So, we're entering the crypt. Don't know exactly where we're going yet. Now, the little dotted line has us going straight forward. But I'm going to do a little bit of exploring first. You know, so we look at things like this. Some long rube. Um, we are a uh, grave thief, apparently. We're going to steal these crowns. We're, we're just really just despicable. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the Von Evericks owe us. Ophiri Kilage. Hmm. It's a relic. I'm kind of intrigued by that that we just picked up. Is it worth anything? Uh, this thing does a fair amount of damage. It actually does a bit more damage than the sword we're currently wielding. Plus 100 w w armor piercing. Well, it helps with sign intensities. Ard Igni. Plus 10 critical chance. Critical hit chance. Plus 10% chance to cause burning. It's a pretty neat weapon, really. I'm kind of intrigued by it. Um, I wonder if I might want to use that. That's a s steel sword, though. I'm intrigued. Let's keep looking around, see if there's anything else we could loot. I wonder if we could get through this gate here. It is locked, so no, no going in there. Oh, here's some more coinage. Oh, I just saw something red on the corner of my screen, I thought. 
Yeah, see? Did you see that? Look at the left edge of my screen. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Oh, well. Trust me, it was red. So do you think we're going to have to find some wraiths in here? Wraiths. Yep. Alright, let's um, get our Earden up and ready. Earden. And then uh, we'll quen it up as soon as I get my uh, stamina back. Okay. And then we'll stand in here. Ouch. Alright, one wraith down. Come over here, wraith. Step into my circle. Did one of them hit me? Oh. Ouch. Quinn. Oh, another wraith down. Oh, 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 oh. This wraith needs business. Alright, that wraith is down. Alright, three wraiths. Last of the surprises. Sure hope so. <laughs> oh, Geralt, you know better than that. Use your Witcher senses to explore the Von Everick family crypt. Well, okay, if I must. Wow, were there really four wraiths? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Well, let's look around. What do you know? The thing in the very center of the room is interesting. Ooh, there's a sword over there, too. Interesting stuff. Votive fire. Played in honor of the dead. Old custom. It is an old custom. Alright, over here. Coinage. Uh, examine. Retina, loving wife of Castatis, died in 1257. Okay. Boy, am I going to have to remember this stuff? Am I going to have to write all this down? Anything in here? Oh, boy. This is kind of big, huh? Hmm. Old tombstone. Inscription's almost worn off completely. Okay. Nothing over here. I'm gonna look at all these. Help ourselves to all this coin because, uh, you know, work expenses. Kest. Kestitis? Not who I'm looking for. Nope. I guess we're looking for Vladimir, huh? Eulalia von Everek. Died in 1250. You, Eulalia? Is that what that was? More crowns. This is this is despicable. <laughs> these, but these people are dead. They don't need these. They don't mind. Alexei, age 19, beloved son and brother. Well, that's sad. Only 19. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna bash through there. Crowns. This one has a sword. Hmm. Probably shouldn't touch that. Probably shouldn't touch that. That says Geralt. Suddenly he doesn't want to touch anything. Vladimir Von there it is. Eric, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Uh huh. Gotta spread some incense, huh? Well, before we do that, I want to know what's back here. So we're going to ard this. And uh, we're going to take a little walk. Oh, there's a body in here. What's up with this body? A crypt key. Alright. Here's a mound. Nope, it's just blood moss. Hmm. So no word on who this guy is. Let's see where this takes us. Here's a skeleton with some florins on it. Help ourselves to that stuff. Well, where's this gonna take us? It's gonna take us out of the crypt. Interesting. Alright, let's go explore this place a little bit. See where this goes. Don't know, really know why, but the dotted line's taking us this way. It's this place. Help ourselves to this. These goodies: cured leather, dark iron ore, trousers, rye, ever loose. Not 
sure what those are. Some kind of plant. Where's this taking us? Well, we'll help ourselves to that. Here's another dead body. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, crap. Um, so, let us bring up our inventory here. Uh, one thing that I like to use against these guys is the uh, Freezy Bomb. Uh, because it kind of stops them in their tracks, makes them a little bit easier to hit. And then, uh, I believe if we put some Insectoid Oil on there, that'll help a bit. So where's the Freezy Bomb? Northern Wind freezes foes. So we're going to do that. We're going to switch to uh, the Northern Wind. And uh, we're going to freeze this guy. Okay, so we froze him. Okay, took him out. You're next. Alright, took those losers out. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, damn it. Freeze those guys. Okay, took those losers out. Nice. There, that's how you fight arachnomorphs, in case you were wondering. Lesser blue mutagen. Lesser blue mutagen. Lesser blue mutagen. And... Lesser blue mutagen! Hurrah. Okay, now I can loot this. Dried fish. That's all you've got for me? Magdira Curus. Some Florins. Well, uh, there's this little alcove here. Nothing here. And then, um... Why are you walking so slow, girl? Oh, I'm over-encumbered. Wonderful. Just noticed that. So, now I'm over-encumbered, which is kind of surprising to me. I guess some of this stuff I'm carrying is pretty heavy, but... I don't really feel like I'm carrying that much stuff. So, let's see, what's, um, what do we get rid of? I don't even know what to get rid of, man. Do I have any... Those are pretty cool swords that we've got here, you know? So... And then, um... Oh, we got some roach stuff, too. Hmm. Horse blinders. That doesn't weigh very much. That's kind of heavy. These saddles? I hate to drop them, though, because I could sell them. Uh, I don't know. Let's get rid of these um, boots. We don't need these. Man, still over-encumbered. That's kind of interesting. Um, boy, that's this stuff's that's not worth much. Okay, I'm a little, a little better now. I hate to leave that stuff there, though, man. Duck on it. Is this another person to loot? Well, t I can carry florins. Where is this taking us? Grab some more of this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Well, I guess this is one of the rooms that we're supposed to uh, sprinkle the stuff in. Oh gosh, look at all these crowns, man. Yeah, I'm taking them. Like I said, the dead don't need them. That's how I justify that. Oh, loot. Oh gosh. <laughs> Girl to grave robber. Ophiri Sheravery. Don't know what that is, but here I am just uh, loading myself back up with uh, more crap. So this is odd to me. We found that dead body, which had a crypt key on it, which I'm assuming opens that. But I didn't really need the crypt key anymore. Um... Once I found that path. So, um, spread incense in every room in the crypt. So let's go ahead and switch to the sensor. And we will spread. Ding a ling a ling. Did I do it? Um, 
Huh. Well, I mean... It's still showing up as a... Like a circle... On my map. So... Um... Well, you either get it out or you don't. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Life and death. Fire and blood. Okay. You say so, Geralt. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Geralt knows just what to say. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. We're gonna fight him, aren't we? Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Yeah, I'm no foe, I'm a friend. I don't Arise think we... from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. I don't think we went this way last time. Oh no, that's the way we came in. It's this way, I don't think Return I went. and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. It's just really this simple to, um, you know, bring people back to life. There's really not much to it. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voting fire. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, I'm not done looting. I'm despicable. I hate myself. I really do. What if I, what, what am I making Geralt do here? It's terrible. Look at this. Okay, light the main votive to continue the ritual. Alright, I can do that. Put that away. Alright, kind of smoky in here now. Let's light it. Ignite. It has been lit. Fire and blood. Life and death. I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Oh, he has to drink it. <laughs> Fire and blood. Life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For von Everick's rise only for von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. What? Oh, well, uh huh? Defeat the wraiths of dead Von Evericks. Well, if I have to. I will. I'll do it. I'm not afraid of you. Ouch. Maybe I should be. Okay, I got my Quinn up. I'm trying to switch to, um, Earden before they hit me. Okay, there's some Earden. Hey. Okay, ouch, ouch, ouch. Quinn. Yeah. Stench. Stench? I'll take you down, man. I'm not afraid. Come on. Step into my circle. Stupid. Haha, uh -huh. you become morons. Haha. Uh -huh. That was easy. My, my. Ordinary whore sons, those Von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir Von Everick. Brother to Olgird. <laughs> oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. <laughs> Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. <sighs> Thank you. 
Now tell me how you came into Olgird's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Olgird's. I'm here on important business. I'm a swiving corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas... Hmm. Do, uh, do people come here often? Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True! We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot. So we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Well, your brother is the one who sent me. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? E, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Well, first of all, let me ask you some questions. How'd you die, anyway? Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one, too, were it not to end with my death. So how'd it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit and provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Hmm. Tell me about Olgird. Listen, feels like I should know Olgird better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgird. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgird. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Alright, well, thanks for the stories. I'm supposed to show you your the time of your life. Listen, Olgir gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! <laughs> You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. <laughs> I'll go nowhere. 
You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Uh... Oh gosh, guess I could bring you someone to possess? Or stop complaining, let's go. I don't like the thought of him possessing someone. Uh, what happens if we say this? Come on, we're wasting time. I'm not to waste time! Sir, time is all I've left. You this big a pain in the ass when you were alive, too. <laughs> Do not anger me, boy. If I've but one night, I want to revel properly, not watch others enjoy themselves. So what do you propose? I've an idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. <laughs> oh yes. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, she's in Geralt. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, this is great. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Mm. Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. <laughs> Have you gone mad? <laughs> yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. <laughs> Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Can she, can she see him? Uh, sorry about that, Shani. Sorry about that, Shani. It wasn't me. So who was it? Me. Shut up. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. <laughs> Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Uh... Leave her out of this, or let's set some ground rules. Let's leave her out of this. Leave Shani out of this. Ah, is that a name? Lovely. A perfect name for a perfect lass. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen. I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him. His mind. His intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Oh, jeez. Right then, sugar mama. Let's say you we leave this dank crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. Geralt's a bore, or don't change the subject, darling. <laughs> don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. 
Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick. Famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the haylofts we shall devastate together. Oh, wow. Uh, we can... We can... <laughs> we get to answer this only ever been friends or cared for shawnee deeply once um well when i played the witcher one uh Geralt, Geralt and shawnee um i think shawnee ended up getting the wrong idea um i don't know if Geralt ever cared for her deeply but he did care for her um Hmm. Oh, gosh. Uh, I think in Geralt's mind, they were only friends. The, at least the way I played it. Uh, so I'm going to go with this. We're just friends. Always have been. Never professed your love. No heartfelt admissions. Confessions. Never anything between us. You mean to say you never gripped those gorgeous... Ooh. Never cherished those beautiful, nay, stunning. So, soft in the head or the loins? <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, the pederast. Fine, if it's not your flavor, you needn't taste. All the better for me. I'll see she's properly satisfied. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Hmm. I thought he said he wouldn't leave in such a state. I guess it's okay, so long as he knows he could go ahead and possess Geralt. Whoop, where is he? Oh, his character entry has been updated, and the quest has been updated as well. Keep your paws off her. Uh, I think he's still talking to us. He's probably outside. So we're supposed to meet Shawnee by the farm where the wedding will be held. Uh, so if you look at the quest, thanks to the blood summoning, which, as is the norm during Witcher adventures, did not go off without certain complications, Geralt was able to summon the ghost of Vladimir von Everick. Vladimir, delighted at the prospect of enjoying a cracking good time, stated that to do so, he would need a body and then promptly possessed the witchers despite the latter's heated resistance. From that moment till Vladimir had had his fun, Vlad's ghost accompanied Geralt everywhere the witcher went. And so it happened on that day. He was going to a wedding where he was to meet Shani. Vladimir was thrilled at this, for he had taken quite the liking to the young medic. It seemed they were all in for a night to remember. I'm not too worried about Shani. She could take care of herself. Uh, somewhere is the characters and Vladimir's has been updated so we'll scroll all the way down here to him let's see here sorry I read this part but not this part I don't think Geralt's meeting with Vladimir began with a fight against other deceased members of the von Everett clan only after they were defeated did Vlad reveal himself explaining he'd refused to fight alongside his dead kin as he'd never been particularly fond of them. 
Overall, Olgierd's brother cut a strange figure, even for a ghost. He showed hints of noble refinement, but often his mannerisms better resembled those of a lifelong brawler or hooligan, no doubt because he had spent much of his living years raiding and marauding with a band of rough characters. One thing is certain, Vladimir liked to have a good time and had found death sorely lacking in the quality entertainment. His demands for his night of fun were simple. He mainly wanted to get well and thoroughly plastered and, well, let us say the dead man's inability to enter in relations with the fairer sex had tormented him terribly. All in all, after hearing Geralt relate Vladimir's complaints about the afterlife, I feared death all the more. Okay, well, uh, we can go ahead and look at the map to see where this uh, wedding is going to take place. And what do you know, it's right up here in Brunwich. But we'll do that next time because it's time for me to end this episode. Well, I had a lot of fun in this episode. This story is very entertaining, very creative. And I just, I, I, I can't stop thinking about how this was a free DLC. They did not charge for this, I don't think. Or did they? I can't remember. They gave away a lot of free DLC DLCs for this game, but I don't remember whether this was paid or not. Huh, somebody remind me. Either way, uh, very entertaining, and it seems like there's a lot of content here, and uh, I feel like we're just getting started. So I hope you join me in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, won't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment? And if not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.